For decades, Emma celebrity star boy George fought to break free of a dark drug addiction that blamed at least three of his friends. In the 80s, he struggled with a heroin addiction so serious that his desperate brother David O'Dowd made a public appeal on TV in the hope of getting him to stop. It was around that time that keyboardist Michael Rudetsky was found dead from a heroin overdose at Boy George's home. His friend Mark Voltier then overdosed on methadone and Valium at a party and another pal, Mark Golding, died of an overdose. But it wasn't until January 2009 that a change finally came for the Culture Club star, real name George O'Dowd, who re-evaluated his life after serving four months of a 15-month jail sentence for the assault and false imprisonment of a May Lescourt. He said he was high on cocaine and having a psychotic episode at the time of the attack, and sought treatment afterwards. He has been drug-free since and doesn't even touch cigarettes. He said, I can't imagine I will ever put myself in a situation like that again. I've taken things to the ultimate conclusion and there really is no happy place to go from there. So I invest a lot of work into my sobriety, into staying clean. I'm not prepared to give that up for anything or anyone. I look back on how I was and think, who the hell were you? How the hell did you even cross the road when you were like that? And I'm not even talking about when I was off my head, I'm talking about when I was normal. I was pretty much bonkers. I don't think him that person now. In 2017, broke down on Piers Morgan's life stories, recalling how he reached rock bottom. I sent myself to prison. I told police why I did what I did. I was having a psychotic episode, he said. I was a drug addict so I can't say my reasons for doing it were founded in any way. George also claimed he would not have made it through his dark days of drink and drugs without the support of his loving family. He added, I'm very lucky that I've got a pretty good family who have always confronted me when I've got out of control. However, there was another chance encounter years earlier that boy George drew strength from when trying to find a new way to live, and that was with Princess Diana. He recalled how the judgment-free royal lit a fire inside him with her inspirational words. I met Princess Diana and she said to me, Do you know what? You're a survivor, he told the Express. I said I didn't know how to take that and she assured me it was a compliment. It was such a sweet thing to say, she was like, You're like me, you're a survivor. He continued, but I have reached a point in my life where that's not something I aspire to be. I want to thrive, I want to be on top of things and I feel like I am now. In the wake of his rehabilitation, George shed six stone in weight and struck up an unlikely friendship with Sir Cliff Richard. The pair were forced to socialize after they got stuck together in a snowstorm in Germany when they were invited to perform at a 12-date orchestral tour called Night of the Proms 2010. George said, there were lots of dinners and we got on very well. He was adorable actually, a very nice man. At the end of the tour he said to me, do you know what? I thought you were going to be a nightmare. And I said, you know what, I thought you were going to be a nightmare as well. I told him, if you'd met me 10 years ago I probably would have been. Do you think boy George will win Emma's Celeb this year? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.